More positions, more money. Expected in the city of Myrtle Beach's next budget, City Council debating the proposal during today's City Council meeting. Our Eric Richards was at that meeting, breaking down some of those key items. And Eric, the plan looks to actually beef up city staff, but what is the cost to our taxpayers? Well, Eric, I'll tell you this. There is some good news and there's some bad news. While property taxes won't be going up under this proposal, you could see some new fee increases. And this is all to add 14 new positions here in Myrtle Beach. It's all really just a part of the pie. The uh, proposed, the FY25 proposed budget still remains at $330.2 million overall. That is a 7.82% decrease from the prior year. The city of Myrtle Beach approved the first reading of the proposed fiscal budget Tuesday. While the overall budget is down, the operating budget is going up. That's a portion that includes money for anything from equipment to hiring new staff. The operating budget actually is a 7.2% increase. The city financial officer says inflation is part of the reason for the increase and the plan includes a 5% market increase for employees. There isn't an increase for business license fees or property taxes, but there could be increases in construction permit fees and sports tourism fees. Parents and sports programs might have to pay more to play in Myrtle Beach. We are recommending that we take the football and cheerleader fees from $15 to $50. The budget also looks to add 14 new positions, including two paramedics and one opioid specialist. It also seeks to add a Freedom of Information Act attorney, to which Councilman Bill McClure asked why that position is needed. I'm sure that we get a lot of those. Before I was elected, I'm probably responsible for at least a dozen of those. Uh, so what kind of volume are we getting? The city says over 2,000 FOIA requests are made each year, which might not sound like a lot, but could be time consuming based on the extent of the request. Some of those are much more extensive than others. Oh, yeah. Some of them require a lot of staff time to do the research that is needed. So there was also talk about adding a fee for all FOIA requests. However, that is not a part of this budget. The council will still need to vote a second time before the budget can be passed. Live in Myrtle Beach, Eric Richards, WMBF News.